Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from the newly pimped out storage warehouse in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode, we were finalizing the design of the storage warehouse as well as working on the auto item sorting system <laughs> that now sits in the cyber lab's maintenance level. In this episode, guys, we have got a butt ton to do, including a whole bunch of maintenance around the cyber labs as well as directing all coal from the sorting system into the furnace rooms and finally linking up the sorting system to the recycling facility. So guys, this is going to be a freaking sweet ass episode. I hope you've got tasty beverages and snacks. Let's feed the beast that is our freaking mind. Well guys, you may have noticed something different in the storage warehouse and yes, I have added a butt ton more barrels to the back of the, stor the storage warehouse. Basically, the last time you guys saw me, I left the cyber labs to run for about half an hour and what I quickly realized was that the overflow chest just got too full too quickly with a whole bunch of items that we would potentially want to keep. So I made a whole bunch of new barrels, harvested the jazz out of the oak wood grove and here you can see I've added basically a miscellaneous wall of items and these are basically all the items that are coming out of the recycling facility and out of the quarry that I want to hang on to and everything else is going to be redirected into the recycling facility. So what I did was I ran another um, another line of pneumatic pipes across uh, Ren Town into this wall over here, and this and I I, I I think I yeah I think I dug out another two layers of um, of wall to just expand the warehouse slightly more, and I've added this wall of miscellaneous barrels and uh, we are now collecting a whole bunch of sweet ass jazz man. I've also added these chests to the corner of the warehouse because we can't have barrels for everything man. that'd be ridiculous. It, that would require like thousands of barrels. So yeah, here I've got um, a chest for pipes because we use a lot of pipes, seeds on organics, miscellaneous items. These are our hand saws and our swords and our, our armor and all of that jazz and wood and wood crafts because you know again we just can't have pipes for freaking everything man that would just be insane <laughs> but um, I'm really happy with how the storage warehouse turned out as you can see it is looking pimp mcdaddy damn and I am so happy with how this has turned out man and uh, guys I want to thank all of you guys who have been following the series and who have been leaving me such epic suggestions and ideas in the comment sections of my feed the beast videos you guys freaking rock here is a high five through the interbubs for you and uh, one of you guys was talking about how this system System isn't as optimal as it should be and the reason for that is because in the old iteration of these um, barrel and pneumatic tube arrays what was happening is the pneumatic these are pneumatic tubes right or pipes or they're, they're tubes let's just call them tubes the pneumatic tubes connect into the bottom of a barrel and into the top of a barrel and for, for this system to work work optimally items need to be delivered into the top of barrels only. So what one of you guys suggested was using marble covers to block off the pneumatic tubes from the wooden barrels, just like this. No, not like that. <laughs> just like that. No, not like that either. It's kind of hard to do this. <laughs> come on. There, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> so what you can see, that actually cuts the pneumatic tube from the barrel above it and that optimizes the system really, really nicely. So I've done that for all of the barrel arrays throughout the storage warehouse and uh, I just want to say thanks to the Cyberdog who gave me that idea. Absolute genius, man. You are, you're awesome and I love you. <laughs> um, and what I want to do, guys, before we move on to uh, working on, oops. Oh, it's at the back, that's okay. Guys, I've been doing this for about half an hour, man. It is painful doing this because if you place the, the cover incorrectly, it cuts off tubes and you can actually mess up your entire system. So got to try keep a little bit careful. There we go. Sweet. That's looking good. Okay, and now what we can do is just close up this gaping hole over here in the cyber labs. There we go. And now the storage warehouse looks to be absolutely perfect. Beautiful. I love it in here, man. It is. I, I just love how clinical and stuff it is. I know that sounds weird, but um, I, I like it. I, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think of the storage warehouse, man. I'll be keen to get your, your opinions. Um, but guys, what we need to do now, considering that we've just ripped up the ground of Rentown, um, I've got to tell you that I've had some seriously, um, how, how shall we say, 
stern worded letters from the <laughs> from the inhabitants of Rentown and they have been complaining that they are unable to get to the blacksmiths because I've dug this massive ass trench down the, the middle of their town. So let's just let's just fix up their town for them before they get really angry and, and maybe there's a revolt. I don't know, maybe they blow up blow up the freaking cyber labs. You know, when people get angry, bad things happen. <laughs> so let's just uh, hide the shame of what we've done and uh, try and get Rentown to its natural beauty once again. Um, it's never going to be quite the same as it was, but I'm sure after a year or so, the, the, the citizens of Rentown will have forgotten that just beneath this ground lies pneumatic tubes and pipes and also uh, little bits of uranium. <laughs> um, and if I knew that there was some uranium pretty close to the city that I live in, I probably wouldn't live there anymore, <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we've covered up the shame. I just want to make sure that, you know, it's looking pretty sweet. Don't want my OCD to kick in. There we go. Looking pretty good. Attention, citizens of Rentown. I have repaired your roads. You are now safe to trade again and to sell stuff to each other. And at the end of the month, I will be coming for my taxes. And if you don't pay, you will die. <laughs> Man, I'm hard like that, man. I don't take no jazz. I want my freaking taxes, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get our buttholes down into the Cyber Labs maintenance level. I've prepared this corner of uh, the Cyber Labs for um, something that I've been planning and something that I hope is going to work. Now, one of the things that we didn't sort out in the previous episode when we were working on the storage facility was making... Um, coal come from this, the sorting system into the furnace room and basically the coal was going into the overflow chest down there. Whoop, dude! Dude! How did you get down here? Security is not doing its job! Die, butt bandit! Die, bastard! Oh my goodness, that's the first zombie we've seen in the cyber labs in a long freaking time and I do not like it! <laughs> um, anyway, as I was saying guys, uh, coal was going coming from the sorting system and it was going into the overflow chest because it didn't have anywhere to go. And ideally what we want to do is redirect the coal into the furnace room so that the furnace room will have basically an ins infinite supply of coal coming from the quarries that are going to be running. So what I'm going to do today guys is try and set up a system where we can send coal into a barrel. And uh, man there is a freaking thunderstorm going on upstairs. <laughs> and whoa! Whoa! Man, that is some loud ass jazz. Um, are my particles down to minimal? Yeah, that's really, really loud. Sorry guys, sorry for the loud ass thunder. Um, but what I'm planning to do guys is set up a barrel over here and what I want to do is suck the coal out of the barrel into this golden transport pipe system to um, fuel up our furnaces. And I want to supply the barrel with coal with our pneumatic tube system. So it's going to be two systems interacting with each other, which I think is going to be pretty damn cool. So let's see if we can actually make this work. I'm not actually sure if it's going to work. I've done a little bit of research and it, it makes sense to me. So uh, we should, oh, we should be okay. Hmm. Talking about maintenance, <laughs> check what I'm doing, man. I'm just hacking up the cyber labs. My bad. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to just uh, wait a bit until this th thunderstorm passes because it is driving me great, great. I'll see you on the other side of this kaplam. Kaplam! All right, cyber dogs, we are back. The thunder has cleared and silence has resumed. I don't know, the cyber labs is like such a peaceful place to me. You know, it's, it, it, I always get distracted when there's a bunch of noise going on. So, um, <laughs> especially when it's like this crazy ass thunder that, that could strike lightning and destroy my town at any time. So, you know, it always makes me a little bit anxious. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is my plan, right? I, wanna, I want the coal to come um, through these pneumatic tubes into a barrel. And that is awesome because we don't have to use a diamond uh, transport pipe or anything like that because we're going to put coal into this barrel so any coal that comes through the sorting system is going to come straight into this barrel over here right now all we have to do is suck out items from the barrel and send them into this array of golden transport pipes over here so what i mean all, all we need to do theoretically speaking of course is install um, a wooden transport pipe underneath uh, the barrel over here right like that and then what we need to do is install a redstone engine over here to power the the the, the pipe and let's get a lever up in there so we can turn on the redstone engine and 
all we need to do then, right, is send the items from, or suck the items out of the barrel, so suck the coal out of this barrel, and send it up into there. No, that's not going to work. Let's have a look. How can we do this? One, two. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. And I think we'll probably need to install an iron pipe here also so that the coal doesn't come back into the barrel. So let's turn that around like that. Yeah, you see, if the coal actually comes down, then it's going to pop out of this wooden tube. Okay, so that theoretically should be working, right? And then what we'll do is just cover the shame of this machine. Like so. And we still got a few of these covers, so we can use those too. Oops. Just got to try and make this thing look as sweet as possible, right? There we go, looking pretty awesome, looking pretty awesome. This is our, our automatic coal insertion system, to give it an official name. <laughs> and a couple more covers over here. Okay, that's looking pretty awesome, and that theoretically should work. So let's just, let's flick on the lever. And let's just cover it up over here too. That looks like it's working, right? Yep. Awesome. Okay, the coal's being sucked out of the barrel one at a time. And that's totally cool. We don't need to have ridiculous amount of coal being sucked out of the barrel. Um, and it's going up into this array or, or this array of pipes up here. And it is um, fueling our furnaces, which is awesome. And I think, Cyberdogs, that is the machine done. And looking pretty damn pimp, if I do say so myself. Sweet. Let's have a look. Awesome. I'm loving that. Okay, so let's head over to our manual insertion chest over here to see if this is actually going to work properly. Let's drop off all of this coal into the delivery system. And what we should see is the coal coming down here and into that barrel because that is now the coal barrel, right? Coal! There it is! There's the coal! Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Sweet! There we go. Beautiful. Oh man, that is absolutely epic. And that's going to go into this barrel. And this barrel can hold a redonkulous amount of coal. And that means our furnaces are going to be always supplied with coal, which is absolutely epic. There goes the coal into the barrel. Nice! Oh, that is excellent. I'm so happy with that, man. That is awesome. Okay, excellent, guys. That is one of the tasks that I wanted to complete in today's episode, so we can tick that one off the list. The next one I want to do, guys, is connect the recycling facility to the sorting system. Um, now that we've got all of those barrels in the storage warehouse and we're collecting all of the items that we want, the rest of the items that we don't want, we want to send straight back into the recycling facility. So I had a pretty smart idea, right? If you guys remember in the previous episode, we had an overflow chest um, somewhere around here. And what I thought I would do is actually turn this chest in the recycling facility into the overflow chest, right? And the sweet thing about having the overflow chest in the recycling facility is that we can manually turn on this engine to start recycling any of the items in this chest that we don't want. And every now and then we can pop in and have a look if there are any items in here that should be in the storage facility. So instead of just recycling everything that is not going into our storage warehouse, we, we are going to be able to come and have a look if there are any really rare items, for example, that maybe we miss before we uh, hit the switch to recycle the stuff. So I think that that is a great location <clears throat> for the overflow chest excuse me <coughs> i got a zombie in my throat <laughs> so what we want to do now guys is connect up this overflow chest to the uh the sorting system array and what i've done is i've dug a little trench here into the floor of the cyber labs maintenance level and this just runs all the way along here goes underneath this glass fiber cabling over here powering the recycling facility and then just goes round it's going to go round the corner over here and into the chest so let's just finish off the piping over here and this is probably why a zombie spawned because <laughs> there was enough space in, in this corner for that butthole to spawn um i dispatched his ass though so you know i'm happy with that it looks like we need one more pipe in here. 
Right, so this chest, this is the overflow chest, is now connected to the sorting machine, which is brilliant. So let's just get this shame covered up, fill in this trench. We definitely know that it's going to work, right? But what we still need to install, guys, is something called a restriction tube. And this is what a restriction tube looks like. All you need is a pneumatic tube and an iron ingot. Now, what a restriction tube does is it basically acts as 5,000 blocks worth of pneumatic pipes. I could be wrong about that number. I'm not sure if it's 5,000, but I think it is 5,000 blocks of pneumatic pipes. So it makes items think that anything past the restriction tube is actually 5,000 um, blocks away and the reason we need to install the restriction tube is to make sure that the overflow chest is as far away from these barrels as possible and that is exactly what the restriction tube does is it creates a fake 5,000 blocks of pneumatic pipes um, the reason is because items in pneumatic tubes are going to go into the closest uh, legal possible place and if the chest is closer than say this barrel on the far end of the storage facility over here then this straight then the string would just go into the overflow chest and not into the barrel because the the chest would be closer to um the the init to the filter than this barrel over here Do, i hope that makes sense guys <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense in my brain but um that, that's how it works, okay? <laughs> and uh, what we've got to do is just make a restriction tube. We can just do it in this crafting area over here. And uh, it's really, really basic to install. All we've got to do is just stick it into... I think we'll stick it into this location over here so that we can see it. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's have a look. Bam! Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so this little block over here counts as 5,000 pneumatic tubes. That means that any items that are in the storage warehouse uh, in the barrels in the storage warehouse are going to 100% go to those barrels and not go to the overflow chest. And now everything else is going to go, everything else that isn't going into the storage warehouse is going to go into the overflow chest. And when we so desire, we can uh, come and flick the switch and recycle whatever ends up in this freaking chest. So that is awesome. So guys, let's fire up the quarry again, get this bad boy running. Um, I've just turned it off for now uh, while we were sorting out the, the furnace the coal furnace delivery system thingy over there. Um, but the, the quarry should be firing up right about now. What we can also do actually is head up to these chests in the old storage room and, and deliver some items directly into the butthole of our sorting system. Still got quite a lot of jazz that we need to get rid of in here. So let's just pick up all of this and uh, we can just manually insert this into the filter chest and that's going to um, show us if our sorting system is actually working really well. Basically what I'm checking for is that um, that overflow chest doesn't receive items um, that, that it's not supposed to be receiving. So basically that our restriction tube is working correctly. So let's run a bit of a test. Let's just drop all of this jazz in here. Sweet. Man, how fast does this filter pump out items? That is epic. Alright, let's have a look. So we should be seeing items coming down here pretty soon. And yeah, you can see some items going to their barrels in the storage warehouse and items that we don't have chests for. Yeah, like furnaces. Yeah, we don't have a chest for furnaces or a bow or a, a bucket. Yeah, we don't have chests for any of that stuff. That's looking good. That's looking good. These are all items we don't have chests for or we don't have barrels for. Perfect. The, the pneumatic... Uh, the restriction tube is working absolutely perfectly and uh, all of those items should now be coming into this overflow chest over here. Let's have a look. Sweet! Awesome. Well, we'll pick up our bow. <laughs> kind of need that. And uh, what else have I got in here? A wrench, diamond handsaw, don't mind if I do, some iron chests. Sweet! <laughs> awesome. Okay, well the last thing that I wanted to do in this episode, guys, was just fix up a few of um, these support beams in the in the Cyberlamps maintenance level. It's driving me absolutely crazy that there are support beams missing up in here, man. Make, it, it, it's been killing my OCD, so, and I'm sure some of you guys have been, it's been driving you cray cray also. So let's just freaking sort this out once and for all, man. Let's just, I mean, unfortunately we can't put it in here because of this panel, but let's just add it where we can it's making me crazy oh man I don't know what we're gonna do about this um, hmm. yeah I think we're just gonna have to move it one across because it's just too painful it's just too freaking painful let's see can we can we even do it like this yeah 
Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, OCD has been cured. Or at least uh, alleviated somewhat. Um, I'm just gonna have to forget about the fact that it's no longer symmetrical. Oh god! The symmetry has been broken! Seven years of bad luck! If you break symmetry... Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Breaking symmetry is just fuck. There we go. Okay, sweet. Let's just... I just want to make sure... There we go. There's another one. Man, it is stormy up in this jazz today. Damn, son. I don't think it's ever rained this much in this series in such a short space of time. Um, absolutely crazy. But um, guys, I think that actually concludes today's episode. Man, what a busy one it has been. We've installed this automatic coal delivery system. Um, we have fixed up a whole bunch of stuff around the cyber labs. We have connected the sorting system to the recycling facility. And we have fixed the roads of Rentown. And uh, man, our storage room is now looking absolutely beautiful, looking absolutely epic. I am so freaking happy with how this has turned out. I would love to get your guys' feedback in the comment section below. Let me know what you think and uh, what are your thoughts on the the status of the cyber labs right now <laughs> guys this has been random playing minecraft feed the beast i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have you can show me the love by hitting that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet here is a really simple subscribe button for you to smack and now you can subscribe to keep up to date with this series and all the other video series that I do on the Rendog channel. Guys, thank you so much for freaking watching. Cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>